Well, good evening, District 4 residents. I want to welcome you to the citizen engagement to inform the Douglas County Strategic Plan, hosted by your District 4 Commissioner, Ms. Ann Guider, and the Douglas Ford 2025 project team. A few simple requests for today's activity. If you could please keep your videos on during the meeting, uh, we want to make sure that uh, you are engaging directly with uh, our beloved commissioner and also keep your microphones on mute until we call you uh, to make sure that we have a nice, clean, clear recording. And then we'll uh, alert you when to remove yourself off mute when it's your time uh, to share with Commissioner Guider. Now, you may have heard a little bit about um, the 2025 project initiative, and you may be asking yourselves, how can we share feedback? And so I wanna go over those um, very quickly. If you look in the chat section, you will see that uh, we already have uh, www.celebratedouglascounty.com forward slash strategic planning feedback. If you click on that link, you can actually provide your feedback right now during the course of the meeting. You can also see our email, douglasforward2025 at co.douglas.ga.us if you wanna send us a question about the project over the next coming months. Of course, you can always contact your commissioner guider at any time and uh, she can answer your questions about the project as well. And she will also forward your questions over to us if uh, she needs to do that. And then lastly, uh, the part that we're actually most excited about is the opportunity to participate in these virtual meetings with citizens. We will be doing at least 50 meetings over the next few months to engage with our citizens directly. This will probably not be the first or the last time that we will be in contact with you directly. And uh, we are excited about doing these virtual meetings because we get the opportunity to hear directly from you. But I still say, even when you give us your input tonight, the most important thing you can do is to go to that online form and fill out the survey so we can capture your thoughts officially. Our project team will be working with the board of commissioners to reviewing hundreds and hundreds of responses. We're hoping to get in the thousands of responses and that's going to help us put together a strategic plan that we will implement and execute over the next five years. So your input is very valuable to us, very important, and we look forward to sharing with you tonight. Here's an example of the feedback form in front of you. Here's what it looks like, your name, your last name, put your email address, your district number, and you know your responses. You submit that, you'll actually get an email back from our project team saying that we received your response and you'll know that we have it. And that's all that you have to do, pretty easy. So with that being said, I want to now introduce tonight's host, Commissioner Ann Guider. Good evening, Commissioner, and thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you, Mr. Savage. Um, I just want to thank uh, the citizens for taking time out. I uh, hope we have uh, several signed up. I, I can't, I don't know that until we get into the meeting, but um, this is a time that we will be listening to you. We're not gonna be doing the talking, we're gonna be doing the listening. I'm also keeping notes about the meeting and any suggestions that the citizens are coming up with for their strategic plan for Douglas County uh, in the year 2025. So it's, uh, it's your vision that we're looking for and uh, we appreciate all the input that uh, you offer and thank you for being here. Well, good evening, everyone. I hope everybody's having a great day. 
I'm Tiffany Stewart Stanley, the Director of External Affairs for the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, and we are so delighted to have you all here today to provide your input. Uh, Douglas Ford 2025 is the plan that will meet the community's current needs, but will also plan for the future. And like Commissioner Goddard has stated and Mr. Savage, we are here to listen to you all and to find out what you want to see, what the ideas that you have for your county, for your community. So that with that being said, we'll get started. So I'm going to start with Ms. Elizabeth Shaddix. Uh, we will start and we want to hear what you want in your community, in your county for Douglas County. Hi, how is everyone? Good. Um, I guess my main concern is um, obviously budget issues. Um, county safety issues, which out in our area aren't quite as big of a deal as they are in other parts of the county. Um, I would like to see more of the hometown feel. So whatever we need to do to get back to that, whether it's adding more sidewalks or whether it's having more people patrolling all areas, um, just different things where you pull through neighborhoods and you see all the kids out playing and it's safe for them to do that. So I guess safety would be a main concern. Well, that is what great. Part of, the, oh, go ahead, sorry. part of the county do you live? Uh, I'm out in fair play. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Well, that's great. You painted a great picture of, of, of a great community. <laughs> so I, I think you get some great input and we, we really appreciate that. And so next we will move on now, ma'am. I don't see your name. It says MacBook Air. So I'm gonna let you tell me your name and then we would love to hear what you wanna see in your community. Hi there, uh, my name is Amber Jaglinski. Um, and I, uh, I live over um, off of Stewart Mill Road. So pretty central um, to the mall area over there. Um, and like Mrs. Shaddix, I too um, would like to see an increase in, uh, in public safety. But um, if it's okay, I'd like to take just a little bit of time to give some details into, um, into that, uh, just to go a little bit deeper. Um, for me, my main concern uh, is the what I would consider irresponsible financial spending. <laughs> just, um, you know, I, we have a lot of things that have happened um, recently in recent years um, that I feel like uh, better choices could have been made. Um, for example, the um, the three part-time aides that our um, some of our commissioners have um, at you know forty thousand dollars a pop, and I wish I could have a part-time job that paid me that much money. Um, but that thing, you know, the probate judge um, and and her coming in and um, and her salary being increased, um, as well as her being able to receive one hundred percent of the fees um, that her court. Uh, gets um, before, you know, she even started working and, you know, it's possible that she'll end up making more money than, than the superior court judge, even when it's all said and done. Um, the coroner asking for a raise um, that is nearly close to double what, um, what she currently makes. Um, and then the new county administrator um, that was recently hired um, when our old the the previous county administrator uh, excuse me the previous county administrator had just one county administrator of the year and then was uh let go of the position and a new person comes on board and we're going to increase that salary by fifty thousand dollars um there's a lot of uh new programs that have come about for example uh, starting um the uh, keep douglas county beautiful instead of us like tacking on with keep uh, Douglasville Beautiful, which was already an existing um, program there. Um, we do a lot of things that I think have the potential to be really good, like, you know, our focus on Mental Health Awareness Month and Arts and Cultures Humanities Month and um, celebrating the histories, you know, Black history, women's history. I think all of those things are really great, but I think that we could maybe think about how we are recognizing those um, 
those events and those things a little bit better um, versus the amount of money that we're spending advertising um, that and doing print flyers and um, you know programs that we'll do where we have giveaways and things like that versus you know just maybe just recognizing and not that I don't think that that those things deserve recognition they certainly do but right now with when we're in a situation where our budget is tight um, I, I just don't you know know that that is the best use of, of dollars um, let's see I'm sorry I have a list <laughs> um, uh, you know, and, and then the employee hours that are spent doing those those things as well. Um, I would really like to see our money dedicated more to public safety, um, police department, fire department. Um, you know, the fire department right now is really struggling with um, with recruitment, and um, and our police department they need new vehicles and they can't afford those. Um, and those are things like I've, I'm a long time, I'm a lifelong resident of Douglas County. I have lived in the area of Douglas County in District 4 for 42 years. Um, and public safety is very important. Um, you know, also transportation. I know talking to a lot of neighbors and, and things, you know, paving the roads, making intersections safer um, and easily accessible, um, fixing potholes, things like that. Um, and, you know, to, to say also, um, uh, another thing would be maybe an increase in, uh, our economic development. Um, we have some great things going on right now. Google switch. Um, we have huge tech companies that are here in our County and can offer what, you know, is called um, green energy. That's sustainable. It's not going anywhere. Tech is not going anywhere. It's here to stay. And we have Chris Pumphrey, who um, has the is great at recruitment and has the ability to even do things to bring more of those kind of businesses here. I just really think at the end of the day, our focus is kind of wrong. Um, I feel like when I watch the commission meetings, a lot of times I feel like um, sometimes the focus is on wanting us to be like an Atlanta city or wanting us to be like a Cobb County or a DeKalb County or Fulton County. And while we've grown tremendously over the years, that's, that's not who we are. We're on a Douglas County budget. <laughs> so spending our money like we are in Atlanta city is not fru fruitious. It's just not. Um, and, I, and I think um, it saddens me that there's not cohesion on the board. Um, it saddens me that I feel like oftentimes decisions are made um, because of one person's influence and that person happens to be just a district commissioner. Um, and Anne, I wanna thank you for all that you have done to stand up and speak out on behalf of your district and this county as a whole um, you have stood your ground when it wasn't easy and uh, we hear you and we see you and we appreciate you for that. Um, you have held strong to your integrity and um, it's, you know, it's an honor to say I'm part of District 4 <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, that I have a commissioner who um, is making good sound financial choices. Um, it's a big deal to me uh, that taxes are being raised like they are, you know, the decisions that are being made are falling on us. They're falling on us, the homeowners and the taxpayers in the county. It saddens me that people who have lived in our county for their entire lives, just like I have, are leaving. They're leaving because they see what's going on and they're not happy with that. And that's not what I want for my county. That's not what I want for my children who are here that I hope want to stay. Um, so yeah, and I'm, I'm sorry that took a lot of time. <laughs> that, that's okay. We we appreciate your input. I apologize to you because I couldn't see you, but I do know you, Miss Jack Liz. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. You. Well, look, I, I'm I know I'm on that. It wouldn't let me log into my phone, so here I am on my MacBook Air. That's me. <laughs> yes. Well, well, thank you for your input. Tiffany, could I could I ask yeah, you a sure. question? Yes. Okay. Um, Amber, could you be more specific when you say uh, transportation or intersections? 
uh, are there specific ones you've got in mind or are, are, are any other issues about transportation? I know that paving the roads is very important. We only have so much that we have to split up into four districts. Right. right. And we fight over those dollars. <laughs> I know. But, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Um, I don't have, uh, you know, specific intersections necessarily. I can certainly um, get some of that information for you and, and send that to you in an email, um, you know, specific ones. I know, you know, um, I'm living because I live um, kind of in between Chapel Hill and Highway 5 area. Um, I see, you know, a lot of the um, the work towards road improvements, I think, are right down the road from where we live is the what we call the country store right there at um, Yancey okay. and uh, Stewart Mill. And, um, you know, they recently kind of made some changes there that have been good. But um, I know, uh, and then there's been changes over near the McDonald's, you know, on Highway 5. But back further off, you know, we have like just regular neighborhoods even that have potholes all in them that need to be fixed, um, you know, things like that. And in, in terms of transportation, uh, and that's what I mean, just making our roadways safer um, and, you know, um, I don't, I, and, and even things like, you know, police uh, presence in our neighborhoods so that we don't have, you um, drag races that are going on in neighborhoods and in streets and you know things like that um that that type of thing too um you know yeah okay uh if you want to get the intersections you're talking yeah. about uh, because we did push for that intersection there at um uh west stewart and stewart mill road yeah. And it's a great, great improvement. Oh, it's so <laughs> much going. better. So much better. The, the next one is going to be down at Reynolds Road. Mm -hmm, that, yeah. That's on the, the agenda too. But um, uh, just uh, any intersections that you uh, think needs to be looked at. Um, we don't micromanage the departments mm -hmm. uh, and we don't grade the, the streets. They do. And so if there's uh, specific streets that need uh, attention, please uh, do not hesitate, let me know. Okay? Absolutely, I will do so, thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Ms. Jacqueline. Okay, next we will move on. I believe we've had Sarah join us. Um, Sarah, so um, what we're doing now is we're, this, we're at the portion of the program where the citizens are allowed to let us know what they wanna see in their county. Um, so if you would like to participate, we invite you at this time to um, unmute. And if you'd like, turn your, um, your, your camera on and we will love to hear what you want to see in Douglas County. Let me see if I can figure out how to turn my camera on. There we go. Good evening, everybody. Um, I was real interested in hearing uh, in particular about infrastructure, and that would pertain mostly to quality of roads in our county. I am greatly encouraged to hear that Reynolds Road and the intersection there at Stewart Mill is going to be something that is or is on, on tap for the future, because that is an extremely different, uh, difficult and dangerous uh, intersection. I travel that uh, a number of times every week. And that's one of the big concerns. Um, the resurfacing of the road between um, Yancey and West Stewart Mill along Stewart Mill Road uh, going toward Chapel Hill, uh, that is another road that needs some major improvements. Again, I travel that between my home. I'm in the third district, um, but uh, greatly appreciate all the efforts that Miss Ann uh, gives us uh, as far as information of what's going on in the county. So uh, that is a, a, a great importance to me to be able to be kept apprised of what's going on. Um, I think that some of the concerns I have maybe are not pertaining to actual county things other than when I think of the Board of Education in particular. I'd like to see us get back to more basics in that particular regard. 
that's a whole different realm, I'm assuming, right now. So that, that would be something I would have to share with the Board of Education at some of their meetings in the future. Um, improving our quality of roads and the flow of traffic in Douglas County. I have lived in this county for uh, 50 years now. Uh, moved here as a young woman, raised our son here, and I am very happy to say that my son and his wife and three children live across the street from me. I'd like to be able to see them feel like they have a future here and not feel the need to have to move somewhere else, um, particularly when it comes to um, the safety of kids. You know, there's not a whole lot in our county that attracts children uh, and gives them um, venues that are safe, I would say safe in, in the county. Um, so that would be a, a concern. Um, and I guess that's, I, I would kind of leave it in that particular, well, no, I'm not. I'm gonna say one more thing too. Um, the quality of some of the shopping, we had had great hopes at one point in having something like the, the avenues that would have been there on Chapel Hill Road. Um, and of course, those hopes and dreams were dashed uh, a number of years ago. So if there's anything that we can be considering as we're, as we're trying to improve the quality of flow of traffic, the safety of our citizens in Douglas County, and improving some of the quality of shopping that we have in Douglas County. Um, I'm not sure, I have no idea exactly how that can happen, but um, it is something that I talk with other people and they are you know, voicing the same ideas. Um, it would be nice to have better shopping in our county. So I'll leave it at that. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate your input. As a matter of fact, we appreciate all of your input. Um, if you have thank not, you. Our, I'm sorry. I was just saying, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. If you have not already done so, please make sure to go to celebratedouglascounty.com and okay. fill out your form on this for the strategic plan. And as always, we ask that you share this with your networks, your friends, your neighbors, because we wanna hear what Douglas County citizens have to say regarding what they wanna see for the next year, five years for Douglas Ford 2025. May I so ask if, a question regarding that? Uh, if I go to celebrate Douglas County, where, what do I look for to specifically find that? Is it going to be as easy as putting in infrastructure uh, plans or something like that? Or sure, I'm going to let I'll let Mr. Savage. He actually has a, a slide exactly where you where you go, and it's a uh, okay. Honest outline. I'll let you uh, pull that up for the citizens. Okay. Um, but well, before I do that, I'm going to turn it back over to Commissioner Guider and let her have final remarks, and then Mr. Savage will give you the information. Fantastic. You're welcome. Thank you all. I'm going to be moving about getting a pen and paper. <laughs> well, the, the website is Douglas, um, celebrate DouglasCounty.com. And then you put a forward slash and it's strategic planning feedback. Right after strategic this. planning feedback. Uh -huh. okay. And it will take you to that form that you would fill out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you you mentioned um, the the flow of traffic, okay? Um, can yes, you be specific uh, with any uh, intersections or um, backup areas that you uh, would like to see us address? Um, I can. One of them I recognize is a state road. It's Highway Five, and particular uh, in particular. Um, the way it doesn't flow, if you are traveling between Kings Highway and I-20, the backup, whether we are going out or coming in, is ridiculous. Uh, the flow of traffic going on to Douglas Boulevard is horrible. Yes. It, I know that that's the state. I don't know no, we, what we can do about process. that. No, uh, Douglas County, it is a, a, a splash project. And we are at the uh, still in the little design of that intersection, that turn lane right there. Yes, so I'm we sure. are working on that. But anytime you do any, you touch a state highway, it just drags on and on and on. But hopefully, sure. and we uh, actually, the city of Douglasville is going to go in 
with us and, and to help pay for that turn lane going on to um, Douglas Boulevard. So is that the turn lane going on Douglas Boulevard as you're going north on Highway 5? Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. We need that desperately. We need we've, that desperately. We've needed that for a long yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. And um, but uh, hopefully we we will uh, you'll see some dirt being moved sometime this year. So <laughs> good deal. There's one other uh, concern. It's it's minor compared to that particular stretch of Highway Five, but it's in the Bill Arp area um, where Dorset Shoals, where you have Dorset Shoals and Pool Road and the um, roundabout. There's supposed to be a roundabout going in there. Yes. But that is a state of Georgia project project in total they, do we know any they, update on when they're planning on doing something with that last i checked which was uh, less than a month ago they are redesigning it we th we thought they were all through with the design and they were going to do by the right away and everything right. but right. they determined that they've got to redesign it in some manner and oh i've i've um of course, I stay in contact with our legislators about that <laughs> because that should have been done mm -hmm. 10 years ago, if, if not more than yes. that. Yes. And as long as I've been on the board, we've been talking about that. It's, there's going to be a roundabout, but they still don't have that designed. Wow. Okay. As far as anything to do with um, attracting um, businesses, that are maybe, I won't say high end, but higher end uh, places so that we don't have to go to Cobb County necessarily to yes. do our shopping? Uh, businesses usually look at rooftops. Uh, even grocery stores look at rooftops, uh, a, a circle, you know, an area around mm -hmm. uh, that centers uh, their, the location they're, they're looking at. But um, that is up to each individual company. I see, okay. Um, and so I, I think they're gonna be doing some different things with the mall to attract uh, uh, more people at the mall area too, so. Are we still talking about uh, stores in the mall or are, we, are they doing they're some creative doing, thinking? They're always looking for new stores in the mall. Uh -huh. But uh, I think they're looking at some out parcels also and, and okay. stuff like that. So we'll, yeah. we'll see. But that's private property. You know, we don't have that much uh, influence. Um, they're always looking for new stores, though. Sure, to, sure. Especially yeah. to fill up the empty ones. So Right, right. And that is that is a concern when you have a mall that, um, you know, when you listen to Chitter Chatter, you hear people uh, lamenting that there are stores closing, uh, the quality of the stores are uh, not what a lot of us would hope for. Um, and then you, you start wondering, okay, how bad can this possibly get in the future? Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the concerns to see, uh, to address on having, having us not slip backwards, but to be able to progress forward in having better um, stores for people to shop in, uh, which will improve the, the quality of our communities, I would hope anyway. Um, yes. And, so that, yes. that is a concern. And, but um, when a business is contemplating locating in a certain area, they count the, uh, what they're gonna draw from, yeah. the yes. population they're gonna draw from. And to be honest, um, brick and mortar, huge malls are, are struggling everywhere. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, Douglas County's uh, mall, Arbor Place, is actually doing a little bit better than other regional malls. Yes. So, um, and, and I think it, uh, it has a lot to do with the management out there. So um, let's just hope and pray that we get some more. <laughs> Exactly, because there I'm, I've heard of town center being, you know, closing, yeah. and we're still we're still open in yeah. Douglas County, and I want to see it stay that way. I don't want us to close down. I want us to grow and become better, and it's how do we attract people that will support yeah. those type of stores. 
I was very disappointed when uh, uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. <laughs> you and me both. Yes, I, that was my favorite store. Yes. Okay, but thank you um, so much, Sarah, um, and appreciate your input. And I think I saw Elizabeth hand raised. You did. I was curious if you have an update on the Post Road Bridge. They're working on it now, and they they're, they're working. I'm yeah, and I, they've already got the beams across there and everything. I think the pavement and the rails is about all that they have left to do. They should be finished within six months, I think. Oh, cool. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for asking that. Okay. Anybody want to add anything? Did you think of anything else? <laughs> Well, I certainly appreciate y'all's input. We got to get some men on this show too. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be the ones complaining. <laughs> but uh, uh, tell your neighbors, uh, especially the ones that complain to you about something and say, well, you need to go on the next meeting. Uh, we need to know their uh, email address uh, so they can contact me at the office. And I'll make sure that Mr. Savage has their email. And uh, that way we can um, get more and more people involved because the more ideas, the better. So, and I'm surprised somebody hasn't said something about parks and recs. Um, or oh, you know what, Miss Ann, now that is a, a concern too. Thank you for <laughs> reminding me um, because I was talking with my son um, who grew up over at Bill Arc Park, um, County Park there in, in the Bill Arc area and how it has, it's not so nice anymore. Have you um, been over there? They've got a new concession stand. Well, I did hear about that. I have not seen it, but I have heard that there is a new concession stand, which is a sad thing because I sold a lot of hot dogs out of that stand. I, I <laughs> work so with it's and beautiful. Fairplay. I've seen it. It's pretty. Oh, good. And Fairplay good, good. has one too. Yep, they sure do. Yes, they do. Yes, they yeah. do. So we're we're proud of those two. Uh, a lot of work was needed at both of those parks because they're the oldest parks around. Uh, they are. Yes. Yes. Uh, could I ask one question? I can remember um, um, Mike Mulcair had an interest in a walking park or a walking trail. Um, and I know that some business or some work has started on that. Do we have, do you, can you uh, speak to that, how that's coming along? It's six. in the, it's in the Bill Arp area. Um, well, it's off. Um, oh, God. You know the old Bear Creek uh, golf course yeah. over there? They are going to have trails over there, okay? They they're, they're going to make it because the golf course is gone. So they're going to have walking trails over there. But they have extended the, uh, the along the Chattahoochee River. That's the one Mike was uh, really involved in. And, and it had a, a, a trail head at uh, the end of Pumpkin Town Road. There's and there a, was some there kind of work that had started on that. There is a park that's supposed to go in there too. I don't okay. know. But that is not my district. The, right. A, a whole lot of work has not been done. I think uh, they did have um, our start the parking area right there, but they're, right. they're going to build a bridge in order uh, to connect to the majority of the property. I do know that. I recall that was a, an expensive bridge that needed to be built across there. That's true. Yes. <laughs> well, it depends on what kind of bridge you need. A walking bridge is <laughs> near as expensive as driving across one. And I, I don't think they're yeah. going to be driving. So. <laughs> no. no, it's not a driving. But I think the big concern was you had to have it big enough so that you could get equipment across there to maintain everything and yada, yada. And, and that, that puts it off into the distant future, it seems like. Either that or come in from the back way off well, of that's part, Dorset yeah. Bridge Road or uh, yeah, Dorset Bridge. Is that it? Yeah. Mike could do yeah, that. So yeah, yeah. Any other questions? But thank y'all again so much for your input. I've enjoyed it. Thank you, Ann. All right. Thank you. Thank you all. And um, have a great night. And please make sure to tell your neighbors. Thank you. You too. You too. Thank you, dear. Bye-bye.